Citizen Con 2954 just closed, and this is the best time to go through the top five best reveals in citizen con before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an lti argo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december let's get into this video um citizen con was a phenomenal event um what cig revealed this this uh this time around was mind-blowing just to say the least to be quite honest um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna give you my top five of things that CIG revealed this year. And to be quite honest, it's it's a, a, actually a tough one because it's a tough list, to be honest, because there's a lot of big ones in this one. So let's just go uh, straight to it. All right, so the number five thing that CIG revealed this is in con is org tools. This is a big game changer. Uh, the Star Citizen community has been looking forward to uh, CIG implementing something like this in the game right now the only thing we have is spectrum and it, it isn't really that useful in terms of organizing uh, org activities and, and 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 things that you would normally do in orgs in just natural MMOs out there um, so this time around CIG revealed um, org tools through the Moby Glass and also in spectrum where you can there's going to be searchable recruitment screens so now this will allow players new players that are looking for organizations they can search and um, uh, find organizations uh, based on uh, their descriptions and see which one suits them best which is phenomenal it's a great uh, recruitment uh, tool right there they also have org screens where um, it will host features like announcements organization information uh, event calendars you can actually create events and org members will be able to see it on a calendar in your Moby glass which is phenomenal which is phenomenal and um also there's also perks associated with this so if you're representing uh, a certain organization you get certain perks for being a re um representing that org itself as well as benefits they also have event logs event logs to show you um things that are happening in relation to the org um in terms of uh uh, your relation to other orgs, uh, whether um, you're flagging one org as hostile or flagging one org as a friendly or a uh, an ally. So it's really good stuff uh, that CIG has been working on. In addition to this, there are um, ranks, um, permissions that you can grant, also alliances and rivalries between organizations. So number five is org tools. Another thing that's even more exciting is number four, which is the Squadron 42 gameplay reveal. Man, watching this was phenomenal. Watching this was just phenomenal. It, it literally blew me away to see what CIG displayed the time around. So now what we did see was essentially the very first chapter, the very first uh, mission that you would take, which is considered the prologue of Squadron. And the way they delivered it was was phenomenal. I this is the first time I have actually seen a, a video game put you in the seat of an, an action uh, movie. It puts you into the seat as, as if you're the main character in an action movie, and um, just the way the scenes were transitioning um, uh, between uh, different cutscenes and, and actual gameplay was so good it was so good literally me and my org mates we were at the edge of our seat the entire time as uh the the action was going on and the gameplay was going on the graphics were beautiful the um the gameplay was nice and smooth and we actually got uh, a chance to see uh the full realization of mass mode in this uh, for those that uh, were paying attention it was phenomenal uh so squadron 42 was a big one for me but what's even better is the number three so now number three is planet tech v5 right cig went ahead and gave us a reveal on to what they were working on in terms of biomes uh, they had different biomes like swamps um uh, redwoods um jungles and they looked like movies they looked like scenes of movies and and the density of these jungles and these swamps was immense. I never thought this would be even possible in a video game. It was just amazing. And 
Um, what they did reveal there was how even the player character interacts with the environment as they walk through the forest or the jungle. You can see um, the leaves where art is interacting with the player. They even showed um, a player walking into the, into into uh, a swamp itself and how the water interacts with them. The logs inside of the swamp was reacting to the player. It was phenomenal. Another great thing was actually the dynamic weather that they showed. So it seems like we're going to be having weather planet side, which is mind blowing in and itself, right? So they did showcase a reveal in the uh, showcasing uh, weather in which even things like lightning could actually damage your ship and actually, uh, which could actually be very dangerous. So weather, dynamic weather and the biomes were phenomenal in planet tech v5 so now an even more exciting reveal was crafting huge 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 change uh for the future of star citizen essentially we'll be able to craft almost anything in the game using blueprints and with the blueprints you can also have specializations where you can um uh, decide to specialize in maybe components uh, being the best uh um person within your org that knows how to make the best components right so these blueprints you can attain them in game in uh doing in-game uh missions or you can find them or you know a faction progression so if you get uh if you progress enough with certain factions they can give you blueprints um that gives you better tier items and and things like that so not only can you craft items like for example components but you can craft better tier versions of them as opposed to what you would find normally in any component shop in the game, which I think is phenomenal, right? In addition to this, they also showcase player to player trading. So you will be able to craft items. You'll be able to extract resources and, and craft items with these things and actually trade these items to other players as well as to NPCs to make a profit, which is phenomenal. This is one of the things that's been missing in the PU for a very long time. And I'm super stoked that we can now have in-game systems that will um, enable players to trade between each other, as well as crafting something from scratch and selling it into the persistent universe through the NPCs, which is phenomenal, right? Another thing is also um, item qualities, right? So um, depending on the kind of resources you find, if you find higher quality of that resource, it allows you to create better versions of certain items. So for example, um, a gun, if you have higher quality materials that you use to craft a gun, that gun may have better stats um, depending on the type of uh, um, resource uh, you used, right? So it, it, it seems like a very in-depth system that they want to implement and I'm all for it. It's, it's huge and uh, it's really exciting. Another thing that's even more exciting is ship manufacturing. They are going to allow us to not craft items, but all the way up to ships, to the biggest ships actually. And um, man, 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 that is big news. All right. Even more exciting is number one which is going to be player bases and space stations man this is one of the things that i never expected especially the the the, the player stations i think that was a big surprise for everybody but even the, with the with, uh, player bases there's so much that they're going to add into the game first and foremost you can build farms uh hunting lodges industrial complexes trading outposts military outposts or even towns with your org mates man that is phenomenal here you can fully customize interiors of these bases that you build and just customize them the way you prefer uh in each room which is great. So now these structures within your base would need to be built via automated drones, uh, which um, will allow you to actually build, depending on the size of the drone, um, they're going to have some restrictions, right? So if you have small drones, you can build certain uh, small structures, but if you want to build the biggest ones, you need to have the biggest drones. And in order to have those bigger drones, you need to actually have bigger fabrication utilities, for example, bigger ships like the Star Lancer, which is going to allow you to build medium sized facilities 
and uh, even the Pioneer, which will allow you to break, build the biggest uh, facilities, which is amazing and super exciting. They also went into underground extractors. So where you decide to build your base, there could actually be uh, resources in the ground. So there will be underground extractors you can actually deploy to actually extract all of these things. And they also mentioned that you can extract solids, liquids, as well as gas. So now when you get these resources, you can also refine these resources that you've extracted in refineries and types of refineries can also be solid liquids and gas. And I think there's one more as well. So super exciting. There's going to be freight elevators that you can actually deploy within your base that will allow you to move cargo from one side to the other and you can have them all connected uh, in order to, let's say for example, you have a, a massive base that is within a few kilometers apart and you can actually have freight elevators near your refineries. Uh, this way, once everything is refined, you can actually have them move into a freight elevator and bring them over to uh, another location further down uh, in your base uh, where there will be, let's say fabrication facilities, uh, for example, um, the uh, fabrication hangers and things like that to build ships or components or any other items. So, so it's going to allow you to just move things around and make things a lot uh, easier for yourself instead of manually moving things back and forth within your base. There's also going to be permission systems here as well as fabrication hangers that I said. So now these fabrication hangers are going to be the the facilities you'll be using to build ships, which is phenomenal. The fact that we can get into manufacturing of ships is just mind blowing for me. I didn't expect that they'll go this far with it. And um, I'm happy that they are. All right. They also mentioned shops for ships and items. So um, within your base, you can set up shops there where players, other players can come and 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 look at your ships that you want to sell as well as the items you want to sell and they can actually interact and purchase those items and ships which is super exciting so now the most exciting piece here is space stations now so now these space stations is what cig considers uh end game for organizations right so these are vast space stations that require tons and tons of resources to build and run so really really good stuff really really good stuff so now these space stations are going to be fully traversable there are going to be um, networks that would allow you to drive in between different areas as well as walk in between different areas to get to different parts of the space stations and now these space stations there are not going to be any invisible elevators you can actually you have to physically get to places uh in these which is awesome these space stations are going to be fully customizable uh with uh, the interior space so they're going to be certain areas within that space station that will allow you to actually place rooms and, and actually name those rooms and have them as dedicated rooms for different services that you want to have available in these uh space stations they also have exterior modules like shield generators turrets uh gas harvesters etc i mean this 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 system is essentially limitless in terms of what cig decides to add it's just uh it's amazing to be quite honest um exterior hard points like major hard points that they said is to connect wings to further expand your space station so these will be like for example a cargo wing will, which will greatly um, increase the cargo capacity of your um space station um and also like uh hangar wing which will be um, a wing where um ships will be able to go and dock and and land and and, and things like that they also mentioned refinery wings so it, there's there's tons of tons of different modules you can be connected to your space station as well as other space stations so you can connect different space stations all together into a network and build a much larger facility which is super exciting they also said that uh, you can fully customize the exteriors of these space stations. You can put uh, paints on it. You can put uh, decals on it, which is going to be phenomenal. Hangar decks are also going to be hangar accesses, uh, which is going to be within the space stations themselves. They also have flight decks for defense. So if you have fighters that you want to use to defend your space station, this is where you will put those 
ships. And there's also the notion where other orgs can decide to attack your space station if you are building this in a lower security system, which I think is phenomenal, right? And the big piece here is also dry docks which will allow you to construct massive massive ships and what cig revealed was the bangle carrier they're going to allow us to build the bangle carrier and it's going to take an immense amount of resources and time to do things like this but this is what they consider end game for organization so it's not going to be something you're going to be able to just accomplish within a couple months but it will probably be in the years to be able to accomplish these bigger goals which is really exciting to be quite honest i'm super stoked with what cig is planning for this year and year and a half it's super exciting you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys uh found was the most exciting uh reveal uh this citizen con before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one.